Hello, welcome to Light Mustangers. Today, this little video is about our temperature control fermenters. Uh, this is our 300 litre version. They go all the way up to 1,000 litres, but they all have the, the same features. Um, and mainly it's focused around stopping your fermentations from raising too high in temperature and therefore causing uh, bad, bad flavours. The control panel is the, the brains of the unit. Now I realise that on the video it flickers a little bit, that's just the refresh rate uh, when it's uh, plugged in, it's, it's a solid 5.5 degrees here today. The probe that measures that is embedded underneath the insulation, 50 millimetre thick of insulation, and it's on the outside of the tank wall, so it's not gonna uh, interfere with the uh, hygiene of your, your contents. So the control panel can be programmed to any level of your choosing, and that's just holding the set button. And then the current target temperature is uh, 22 here, so that would be good for an ale ferment, for instance. But if you wanted to drop down into the teens, that would be just a case of changing the temperature. What that means then is that when you have a ferment actively given off exothermic energy, the control panel recognises any increase in temperature above one degree more than you're choosing. And if and when it does reach that level, as, as a yeast ferment will want to do, the control panel switches on a maxi cooler. Now this is our uh, preferred weapon of choice. There are other makes, but this, this one is, is a, a pretty good workhorse. So we don't supply that. That's something you need to get for yourself. We can help you with that. There is a cold water supply which comes from these vert vertical uh, little tails there. And the cold water is pushed through into the cooling plate. If you want to have a look inside the tank, you can see that our stainless immersion panel is a very uh, minimal uh, space. So there's no, no dead areas for bacteria to inhabit. And very quickly after uh, the cold water supply is switched on, you can notice the temperature start to drop. Once it returns back to your target temperature, it switches off the cold water supply and then the ferment is just in that little sweet spot that, that you've chosen. Um, that can be left literally for days until further notice, uh, as well as the ferment maximum temperature being uh, choked. You can then uh, choose the Largo in the same tank by dropping the temperature down to, to you know, whatever, whatever level you want. Uh, one degree, zero degrees, it's not difficult to achieve. Um, given the amount of insulation that we've got on it. Um, so the, the, the taps are a, a one inch BSP uh, ball valve on the exit and that is also a, a sample valve uh, just above it, that's also a one inch. The bottom of the tank you might have noticed has got a, a, a short uh, conical uh, shape to it so that not only can you empty all the contents from out of uh, the, the post ferment um, but it also allows you, if you do cold crash the contents, it allows the yeast to settle below the level of the, the runoff tap so you can enjoy a very clear uh, ferment product. Um, I think that answers uh, most of the questions that we, we do get asked. Uh, if I've forgotten anything, feel free please to get in touch. Thank you.